Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another cheapest seat video. This is my series where I obviously book a cheap, cheap, the cheapest ticket for a West End, generally a West End show, and explain to you the process of buying the ticket, where the, the seats are, how much they are, and obviously what the view is like from that seat. Pretty self-explanatory, but I felt like I should explain. <laughs> to make it really fair in that I'm booking the cheapest seat that the theater offers and that anyone else in theory could book, obviously I've not booked a discount ticket, I've not day sat or anything like that. This is literally the cheapest seat that you can get directly via the theatre's website. On this occasion, I have booked my ticket through Todaytix, and that is because thanks to the lovely people that have been using my Todaytix referral code, I have credit to use, and I thought it makes sense to use the Todaytix credit towards making more videos. However, the show isn't discounted on Todaytix at the moment, and it is pretty much the same price as on the theatre's website. Actually, it's a tiny bit more expensive because of the Todaytix fees. But as I said, because I've got that credit, it kind of offsets the cost a little bit. I'll do a little voiceover section talking you through the Kinky Boots website and where the cheap seats are when you're booking them through the website. But just to let you know, obviously, I use Todaytix for this booking. If you want to use Todaytix to book Kinky Boots or another show, you can use my referral code, which will be on screen and linked in the description, and that'll get you £10 off your first order with Todaytix. So that could make it a little bit cheaper for you, but I will show you the process through the website as well. That's how I've done it for a few of my other cheapest seat videos. But yeah, I'm using Todaytix at the moment because I have credit. That was a long spiel, I apologize. So now I'll go into voiceover mode, show you through the website where you can find the cheap tickets and also kind of which seats I have been in before, where I'd recommend sitting. And yeah, just show you through the website. First things first, we obviously need to go to the Kinky Boots website and obviously make sure you're going to the London one. You'll see the book tickets tab in the top right hand corner and you can just go straight through to book tickets. It will give you a calendar so you can choose what date you want to go to. I'm picking the next Friday because that is when I went to Kinky Boots. I went on a Friday and the cheapest seats are going to be in their upper circle. You can see them in purple. Some of them are restricted view. They'll have an exclamation point and that's because of safety rails. And then you can see the ones that are just purple are clear view. So I was sat in N24, which is next to the restricted view purple ones, but I had a clear view. The prices then go up the further forward you go. And the same, the lower down in the theater you go, obviously the pricier the seats get. I have mainly sat in the stalls for my visits to Kinky Boots, but thankfully I've never paid this amount of money to see the show. I've normally day sat to see the show, so yeah. If we go back to the calendar, I'll go a bit in the future and pick a weekday so you can see what the prices are like there. So um, yeah, I'm picking an evening show on a Wednesday. Don't know why Wednesday, it just feels like a good day. And you can see that those purple seats are in the same location, but they are slightly cheaper. I always recommend that you try and go to the theatre during the week if you can, because generally it will be cheaper. Obviously I ended up going on a Friday and you'll see that there are obviously still restricted view seats. It doesn't change on the weekday. They're still going to be restricted, but it is yeah cheaper on a weekday to go. Going on a weekday is not just cheaper in the cheaper seats, but you will see that the pricing changes a lot throughout the rest of the auditorium as well. And then for argument's sake, let's see the Saturday of that week in the future as well. And you'll see what I mean about the pricing going up on the weekend. So same seats, um, but obviously it's slightly more expensive on a Friday and Saturday, which is very cheeky of theatres, but at the end of the day, theatre is a business, so they have to make the money. <laughs> At Kinky Boots, they also offer day seat tickets, which I have done before. I did that the last time I saw Kinky Boots, so I'll link that vlog um, up here or here and also down below. So if you want to check out what it's like to day seat Kinky Boots and where the seats are for that, then 
you can do that. If you're able to day see, I would recommend doing so. You can see from the vlog the view you get and the price of the seats. The price of the day seats are pretty much the same as the cheaper seats in the theatre, but there obviously is a big difference between the seats. Also at Kinky Boots, they have a lottery via Todaytix, and that's also front row seats. So there are a few cheap options for you at Kinky Boots if you're able to day seat in person, or if maybe you live in London and you just want to try the lottery a few times to see if you end up being lucky or if you just want to book the cheapest seat that's also an option for you. Okay so I think that covers the booking process and also some of my recommendations for other cheap options to see the show as well. So now we'll go into the vlog and I'll come back later to talk to you about the view from this seat and obviously the show. Currently the interval and I can't talk for long because I've stupidly not charged my camera batteries. I'm like an absolute idiot. But obviously I'm really enjoying the show because it's one of my favourite shows and I'm going to talk to you more when I'm at home about the seat, what the view is like and everything else. But yeah, it's been a while since I last saw the show. I last saw it in June last year. So it's been a while. It's great to see the new cast members. I'm really glad that David Hunter's still here because I am a right fangirl for him and he makes a great Charlie. It's really nice to see Simon as Lola. He's one of the, like, the main changes to the cast since I last saw it. Who else am I getting to see? I'm getting to see Verity Rushworth. I'm stressed that my camera battery is dying. But yeah, obviously I'm having a great time. This show is just so fun and it's nice to come and see it on the weekend as well because then the audiences are just so much more excited for life. <laughs> so that's really nice. I'm having a great time. A uh, bit of a trek to get back up to the upper circle. So I'm gonna do that now. Why do people just stare at you when you're filming? Like, it's not that weird. Surely you see weirder things on the streets of London. <laughs> from the vlog footage I was at the very back of the theatre I was literally the back row I've sat up here before for kinky boots I think it was their original press night back from the first car so it was a couple of years ago now and I remember thinking um, even then that the view was not that bad being on the back row where I was I'll insert my seat number here because I've forgotten it in this moment but where I was I was right um, after the stairwell so it was really great that I had loads of leg room I didn't need to worry about leg room at all this was a real win for me because I think if you are so far back you want like all the positives that you can get so added leg room is brilliant obviously being in the upper circle there are a lot of safety rails as well because safety but where I was I didn't really have any safety rails kind of restricting my view there was some like in the corner of my eye but I personally found it to be 
fine. It wasn't a restriction at all. This might change depending on where you are in the cheapest seats. Obviously some of them might be right behind a safety rail. It might be slightly different in terms of restriction, but from where I was, it was fine. I think if you're in the central bit, you should be all right. Another good thing about being on the back row was that obviously you've got no one behind you and there was actually a bit of a gap. Like you weren't directly like on a wall so I could hang my coat like over the back of my chair. I normally don't do this because I'm worried it will irritate the person behind me because I know if I'm sat behind someone and their coat is like in my bubble it's a little bit annoying so it's nice to be able to put your coat there and yeah not have to worry about it if you don't want to put it on the floor because that's sometimes not very nice. You can just hang it over the back of the chair and it's not an issue. In terms of the view, you can see everything. It's a really good view in terms of you don't really miss a huge amount. There were a couple of small moments where obviously people would come towards the front of the stage and you might just not be able to see their legs, but it's a great show in that yeah, you can just see absolutely everything. It's a really fun perspective as well to see the choreography. I've mostly watched this show from the stalls, so sometimes the full effect of the choreography is a little bit lost. Um, it's really fun to see it from that sort of almost bird's eye view perspective. As well, if you've seen Kinky Boots, you'll know that one of the central set pieces has um, two levels, so obviously like on the ground floor, and then one level up some stairs where it's like Charlie's office and things like that. And it's really fun to be able to see more of that as well. Naturally, being so far away, you can't fully see um, all the intricacies of the show. So in terms of like the costume detail and facial expressions and things like that. But I personally think it's still an amazing view of the show. Uh, you can still fully understand what's going on and it's not distorted at all. Some shows that I've seen from higher levels it really feels like you're looking at the tops of their heads and so your perspective of the show is just really weird and you don't get to fully appreciate it. But I felt like with this, it was at a really nice angle to watch the show that you didn't feel like really disconnected from it. I personally thought sitting at the very back of Kinky Boots wasn't actually a massive deal. I could see everything, I was still comfortable. Yeah, I think it's not a bad seat at all. So if you are a bit tight on cash or you just don't want to spend too much, I'd highly recommend these seats. They're definitely not the worst theater seats that I've sat in. If you are able to day seat for Kinky Boots, I'd probably recommend that over the upper circle seats because obviously it's amazing to be really close to a show. But saying that the front row for day seats does also have its drawbacks. So yeah, it depends on your preference. If you want to be able to see everything, but be a bit further away, or if you want to be right up close, pretty much in the thick of the action, but maybe miss still some things like especially towards the back of the show and like in the top level you know pros and cons of both in terms of the show itself it's been a while since i last saw kinky boots i saw it in uh, june of last year before the previous cast change so there were a couple of new faces for me to see the main new cast members for me were simon anthony roden as lola and verity rushworth as lauren david hunter was on as charlie who i've seen just once before i think i really enjoy david's take on charlie i think he's definitely developed it a lot more since I last saw him but I, I just I love him as an actor I saw him a couple of times in Once the Musical um, I also saw him in his band when they supported McFly like a million years ago so yeah I'm a really big fan of David's um, I think his singing voice is amazing like so so good and the way he takes on Charlie it's Charlie is such a great character because if you've seen the show you know he becomes really unlikable in the second act and I think it's always really impressive for me when you see someone that you really like as a performer but they're so good that you still dislike their character like when you need to. I think sometimes you can like someone as an actor so much that it then like changes the way that you perceive their character. Like they could do some really horrible things, but you're still liking the character. Whereas Charlie gets to a point where you're like, you're a dick, Charlie. <laughs> I think that's a really amazing thing for an actor to make you feel. I saw Simon as Lola in uh, West End Live last year. He did the performance because it was just before the cast change. So was it just before the cast change or just after? It was just before the cast change, I remember now. So it made sense obviously for him to do Lola because then that's what people 
who, if they saw West End Live, were gonna go to Kinky Boots, that's the Lola they would have seen. Previously, Matt Henry was Lola and he was so good. And I was worried because when I saw the West End Live performance, I wasn't blown away by Simon as Lola. Thankfully, he's developed the portrayal so much. Obviously, it's quite hard to judge from West End Live alone because it's not obviously within the setting of the show and it's a totally different atmosphere to see a performance, um, especially when it's the first time seeing a performer and you know that they've not done the role kind of solidly for a long period of time. Obviously now it's been six months, so Simon's very much like used to the character and used to performing it. And you know, it's nice to see someone when they've, um, what's the word I'm looking for? When they've settled into it. And yeah, no, I thought he was really good. It was scary actually how much he sounded like Matt when he was speaking. Singing voice didn't really sound like Matt, which is good I think because you don't want to, to draw those comparisons like for the entire performance. But his speaking voice, I I personally thought he sounded like Matt a lot. So yeah, it was really funny at first. I was like, wow. <laughs> You sound just like him. <laughs> I really enjoyed his performance as Lola. It was definitely different to Matt's, um, like the the way the personality came across, it was really quite different, which is nice because you don't want to be a cookie cutter version of other people, do you? <laughs> as I mentioned, another newcomer was Verity Rushworth as Lauren. I was a bit worried because I loved watching Amy Lennox as Lauren, she was just hilarious and Verity plays Lauren very differently, which again, I think is good because again, you don't want to draw too many comparisons. I thought that Verity played it in a sort of Miranda style of awkwardness. Like if you watch the TV show Miranda, Miranda Hart, that kind of humor and behavior. It wasn't what I was expecting at all, but I actually really enjoyed it. I found it quite funny that she didn't play Lauren in the sort of, sassy way that Amy used to play her. Um, it was a bit more geeky in a way. And yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I thought her singing voice was great. Obviously the, the history of wrong guys, just amazing. And I loved that the audience still responds so positively to, well, the entire show really. It's really nice to know that Kinky Boots is still in fine form. I'm going to wrap the video up there. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do give the video a thumbs up. Let me know if you've been to see Kinky Boots in London recently, or maybe if you've seen it on Broadway. Kinky Boots is going on tour around the UK soon, and I'm so excited. Hopefully I'm gonna go see it in my hometown, Northampton, where the show is set. Ah, oh, it'll be so exciting to go and see it there. Let me know if you've got tickets booked, because obviously I love to know what you're up to in theatre land. If there's a particular show that you would love for me to cover in this Cheapest Seat series, do let me know in the comments or drop me a message on Twitter. I'm really open to suggestions. Obviously, I want to make the videos that you want to see in this series. So yeah, your feedback is very much appreciated. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more of me in the future, do stick around, especially if you love theatre content because I make a lot of it. I hope you're doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.